Hey guys, it's Lee from Tenney Technology. I um, wanted to give you guys kind of a update and impressions on the new BKR9000 multiband radio. Um, so we did some field testing over the last two weeks um, on the state radio system. We were working with some clients. Um, we went out to identify some target areas where they are having issues with their current radios. And um, we just kind of did a test comparison between what they have, another brand, and this brand. And on multiple occasions, the BKR9000 helped perform the other brand radios. Um, others were actually missed radio traffic from the trunking system, and the 9000 picked it up. And in areas where those radios were either losing signal or um, becoming like garbled, digital garble, the 9000 um, audio never stopped. It kept working, um, kept affiliated to the system, and it was working really, really well. So, really, really impressed. Um, just the initial impressions, like picking up the radio, it fits really, really comfortable in the hand, in my hand. Um, it's got a rubberized coating around the entire radio. Um, and a BK, I got some notes here just to kind of familiarize myself with it. So they're calling it the uh, BK Hero Armor. Um, I think it's going to be really nice um, if you're during the winter or wet, if your hands are wet or your gloves are wet. It's going to stay in your hand, um, so I think people are really going to like that. Um, the loud audio is just absolutely amazing. It just sounds really, really good. Um, here, I will just kind of give you an example of how good the audio really sounds. Uh. Lows in the upper 40s. For Friday, mostly sunny in the morning, then becoming partly cloudy. Highs in the lower 60s. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows in the lower 40s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 50s. So, I mean, that super loud. So, operating on a fire ground, not going to be an issue um, listening or hearing your audio. Um, so, really, really awesome. Really, really impressed with that. Um, kind of go over uh, like battery life so um, on the, the day that we were doing testing um, I did not start out the day with a fully charged battery so I actually had I ran the radio um, the night before a couple hours just monitoring trunking system and then uh, woke up and ran the entire radio uh, Eight hours. no probably f close to 15 hours um, woke up running it um, took the girls to school, dropped them off, came in, worked in the office a little bit, and then went to the meeting. And I had the radio on the entire time, driving, listening to the system. And then we went out and doing our testing. So that includes a lot of transmitting um, and talking. And then uh, that ran most of the day. Um, and then I got home probably about uh, probably probably about uh, I don't know, 15 hours in after the meeting and everything. Um, and then the radio was finally started chirping on my way home. So that was that was over almost 18 hours of radio use that uh, with transmitting and everything before the battery finally died. So if you're working a 12-hour shift, your battery is not going to go dead. Um, so that's really really awesome. Um, VHF UHF 78, um, all the UHF bands. So. Uh, 403 to 512. Um, phase 1 and Phase 2 P25 trunking. It's IP68 compliant with mil spec A10, C, D, E, F, and G. Um, Wi Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth. Um, AES with OTAR, FIPS 140 2, level 2 and 3. Um, it has multiple microphones front and back. Um, with some noise suppression. So we're going to put that through its tests um, here. I want to, um, once we get time, we're kind of swamped here, but we're going to try to get out with um, some fire, de fire departments and do some, run some chainsaws and stuff like that and do some audio recording to give that some testing. Um, it just feels really, really great. Um, oversized knobs. So we have... Um, just so you like know we have you have a b c and d on the top selector and that's going to be for zone selection 
um, and it can be programmed for whatever zones you want. So it doesn't have to be the first four. It can be whatever zones you want, as you, and you can program it to select those zones. Um, we have a collar selector here, which is kind of industry standard usually for encryption, but it can be programmed for whatever we want. Um, three selector side buttons programmed for different functionality. And then in the BK, Jess can zoom in there, um, we have the different menu buttons here that are all programmable to do different functionality. And then you can also program your bottom buttons to do something as well. Um, so really simple to get the battery on and off. Literally, you just pull the side tabs and it slides off. That's how easy it is. Um, solid pins, I mean, these are really thick, so they're not going to break or bend or wear out very easily. Um, really easy, you just kind of get it in your, on the rails like this, get it into position, and it locks in. Really, really simple. Um, kind of go over some uh, different, so originally these came, they have currently, right now, they have three antennas out for them. Um, two different multi-bands and one VHF 7.8. Unfortunately, the VHF 7.8s didn't come in. So this was the big one. Um, this is the uh, BKR0893-148-E. Um, and that model is all band, VHF, UHF 7.8. Um, and it's 25 centimeters, or as a wise person once told me, it's about 9.8 freedom units or inches. Um, and then, so this is the bigger of the ones, and then I ordered uh, the other smaller multi-band one they came out with, which is the BKR0893-148-E20, and that comes in 7.8 freedom units, or 20 centimeters. Um, for you non-American people. Um, Performance-wise, it's just receive and transmit's just been phenomenal. Um, Currently, we have um, two chargers available. We have the single unit charger, which um, works with your BKR 5000, which is a standard. It'll only charge the radio. You can't charge the actual battery alone. There's no slot for that, um, unless you like well, come up with some stuffing and stuff it in there. So you gotta charge the radio with the battery attached, and then it'll charge. Um, and then the, the new dual slot charger um, comes with the adapters so you can pull the adapter out and charge the entire radio and this will work on the BKR 5000s also or you can pull it out and put the uh, adapter cup in and then drop the spare batteries in there to charge um, there's hopefully soon there'll be more accessories coming out for charging capabilities but currently that is the um, only options we have um, Every radio comes with the standard belt clip holster, slides in, um, pretty simple. I mean, it's just a battery holster. So most uh, I, most police officers are usually wearing vests, tack vests, so they'll probably just have this in a pocket or some molly webbing. And then the firemen are usually carrying their radios with leather straps under their coat where it belongs. Um, speaker mic. So this is the current model of speaker mic that they have. Um, very thick and robust, um, large emergency button on top, you can feel that tactile feel. Um, large PTT rubber on the front and then a standard rotating clip. Um, they need to add that large D-ring back to it. Um, the first model that came out had it, why they got rid of it I don't know, um, but it needs to be brought back. Um, and then you have your earpiece, um, standard earpiece plug-in so you can put a earpiece in. Um, pretty solid uh, volume up and down control uh, right now. Um, future programming or firmware upgrades, hopefully they're, they're going to be adding uh, the ability to do channel up and channel down from this to kind of give you some different options for that. Um, and then uh, the BKR0710 is your programming kit. That plugs in on the side of the radio. USB for programming. And then um, we have the uh, BKR0587, which is going to be your KVL encryption key loader. Um, that will go into your standard Motorola KVL. 
And then uh, they're, they're in the works for uh, BK to have their own keyword coming out, hopefully. Um, just awesome. Um, yeah, multi-key, multi-algorithm, so it'll do ADP, AS, DES, DESXL, DESOVO-V, um, compatible with Motorola's ADP, um, and I've tested that multiple times um, before with no issues. Um, 5,000 channels, so fill it all up. Um, so uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi aren't really functional right now. Um, hopefully that will get, I mean, that's future model, future stuff. So all the, the programming, and if you've ever used their KNG uh, mobile series or KNG 2 series, it's all off REST software. It's ex all the same. Um, obviously now they, they added the 9000 functionality and some of the options that are for the radio, like uh, setting up different stuff for the top display in the programming. But if you've ever used the KNG 2 or their mobile, it's the same thing. Um, you can do all the cloning. And what's really nice is, so if you already have Say you're a uh, 7800 customer using KNG 2s, you can take your code plug in the res, change the software uh, model number to a 9000, and then use that code plug to add your other stuff in there and program it in. Um, yeah, really, 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 really cool. Really, I'm really impressed. Um, channel announcement, so you can do your own custom channel announcements in the software. Newton County Dispatch. County Tax South. Um, just so really, really cool. Fire Dispatch. Um, 56 Fire. I'm uh, excited to see what new options get developed with the radio, um, with it being a brand new platform and the technology there. Um, we'll see what gets developed. So, um, yeah, other than that, I'm really, really impressed. I think, uh, I've from what I've heard from my um, one customer that's using it, um, he likes it more than the other radio. So <laughs> that's cool. It's always a good thing to hear. So um, five-year warranty, mm -hmm. standard. So when you order this radio, um, it comes with a five-year warranty right out the window. So that's the first ever in this industry. Um, Me. Me. And once again, it comes in different models. So you got a model one, which will be just the radio, no displays. 1.5 which is just the top display um 2.5 which will be the display but no dtmf keypad and then the 3.5 will be full dtmf keypad if you want to do field programming you need the full keypad um so for your wildland guys or like ema or specialty teams that get deployed anywhere um this is a radio for conventional on the fly programming you can't it blows everybody out of the water um you can add zones on the fly, um, create new channels on the fly. Um, it's just really, really neat how they do that. Um, and so I think uh, over some time we'll start doing some videos on just kind of like up close how to do stuff on the radio, on the different functions. Um, we were doing some little bit of testing. Um, we can do um, actually text testing via mm -hmm. P25 conventional. So if, you have, if you're a conventional P25, you can do radio, radio, or through your repeater. Um, you can do actual text messaging, predefined, or you can actually write your own text message and do transmitting. Um, they also have, um, via conventional um, analog or P25 using MDC, they can do uh, GPS coordinates. So once your GPS uh, connects and you have your coordinates, it'll actually um, send when you transmit your GPS coordinates to the other radio. So that's pretty neat. I think the wildland guys would definitely like something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, but yeah, so far I'm really, really, really impressed. Um, I think, you know what, I think we should, uh, what do you think, maybe I should go get a pair of fire department gloves and just kind of put gloves on to see yeah. what it looks well, like. Well, and I was gonna say, just for anybody that's new and following us, uh, where are these made and what is the current lead time? It, it can change, but what is as of today our lead time and and where are people getting this product from? Because they may not know. Yeah, sure. So um, BK um, decided actually pre-COVID to bring their manufacturing back to the United States. So um, as of right now, the, the BKR 9000, the KNG Mobiles, 
are being um, built here in the United States down in Florida. So the, the boards, everything are soldered and built on the, main, the, the line down in Florida and uh, assembled there in um, Florida. So um, right now, uh, lead times I'm being told are approximately uh, around like 120 days. So um, when you when you order a radio from BK, it's it's built from the time, or it's built right there. So it's custom built. It's they're not sitting on the shelves. Um, so that's about what what we're hearing. Um, we already had our customer place their order. Um, what was it about two weeks two, ago? Two weeks ago. And yeah. we're looking, being told, hopefully November. So we'll see a radio. little under. A little under. Um, but so we'll see there. Um, um, yeah. And I know we tell people, you know, contact us for a quote, but price point is phenomenal, in your opinion. Yeah, um, call us and we will give you a custom written quote on mm -hmm. pricing. Um, you will be shocked at how, um, what kind of pricing we can get for you. So. And demos. We are, um, we do have a list going. Yeah, we have quite a long list. Um, um, so, but if you're um, a fire department or police department um, or a system administrator locally and you're really interested in the radio, you can reach out to us and we'll get you set up for a demo. Um, and then BKR also has, from BK themselves, have demo kits available. So it's two radios, charger, batteries, a speaker mic, and you can sign, fill out the paperwork and they will ship you a whole demo kit um, that you can do testing and everything with uh, for 30 days. And then um, you gotta ship it back. So those are available too, and customers are lining up to, to get those. So that's available. Available also, you can reach out to us, and we can get you a, if we sorry more information on that. Okay. Um, so let's get some. We'll pause, and you get some gloves. So um, got my fire department gloves um, that we wear on the fire room. So I just wanted to see how well it works with the knobs. So, um, see if we can ch switch zones. I'm not even going to look. Our channel. Newton County Dispatch. So, we always put our fire grounds at the back. Lincoln Township Fire Ground. Red Fire Ground. Just lying, no problem. Lincoln Township. Red Fire Ground. Test one, two, three. Sounds good. So you notice that beep there? I sent up our radios to send the ID at the beginning and the back. So um, that's a way to go talk. And then I would start talking. So yeah, I can uh, adjust channels, um, change the channels, adjust the volume easily on my radio strap. And then uh, like definitely like set up your keypad lock. Locks me on my channels or locks all your ground. Locks all the um, buttons so you don't actually hit anything. Red fire. But ground. I have it uh, programmed so I can at least still change channels. But you can also do that in the programming to program it to lock everything. So I could have that set up to lock it on the channel where you can't change channels also. So that's all available in the programming also.